So hello everyone. Uh, before we hear the sermon today, um, I want to share the words of God, the book of Psalm, chapter 147, uh, verse 1 through 20, to meditate uh, the words of God before we hear the main sermon, okay? All right. You can um, read with me. Also, you can share with me, okay? All right, let me... Let me read. Praise ye the Lord, for it is good to sing praises unto our God, for it is pleasant, and the praise is calmly. If the Lord doth build up Jerusalem, he gathereth together the outcast of Israel. He healeth the broken in heart, and bindeth up their wounds. He telleth the number of the stars, he calls them all by their names. Great is our Lord, and of great power his understanding is infinite. The Lord lifteth up the meek, he casteth the wicked down to the ground. Sing unto the Lord with thanksgiving, sing praise upon the harp unto our God. Who covereth the heaven with clouds, who prepares the rain for the earth, who maketh grass to grow upon the mountains. He giveth to the beast his food, and to the young ravens which cry. He delighteth not in the strength of the horse, he taketh not pleasure in legs of a man. The Lord taketh pleasure in them that fear him, in those that hope in his mercy. Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise thy God, O Zion. For ye hath strengthened the bars of thy gates. He hath blessed thy children within thee. He maketh peace in thy borders, and filleth thee with the finest of the wheat. He sendeth forth his commandment upon earth. His word runneth every swiftly. He giveth snow like wool. He scattered the other hoar frost like ashes. He cast his forth his lee eye, uh, eyes like um, morsels who can stand before his cold. He sanded out his word and melted them. He caused this his wind to blow and the waters flow. He shewed his word unto Jacob his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye is the Lord. Amen. Have you ever praised the Lord just like for all these, you know, kindness and mercies? When you understand who God is, who Jesus Christ is, you cannot help praising his name every moment, okay? I bless all of you so that you may be able to do just like King David and Psalmist, okay? Okay, today's message, the main passage is Book of Isaiah, chapter 40, uh, 43, uh, verse 18 through 21. Isaiah, chapter 43, verse 18 through 20, uh, 21. Yeah, let me read it for you. Remember you not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing, now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The beast of the field shall honor me, the dragons and the owls, because I have given waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to any my people, my chosen. This people have I formed for myself. They shall shew forth my praise. Okay, shall we praise at a moment? Heavenly Father, we are here together in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to hear your words, our Father God, because your word is spirit and life. Whatever you say, 
whatever you said, everything has been done to fulfill your words. Holy Spirit, anoint all of us so that we may understand what is new things which was planned by you thousand, thousand years ago. It should be fulfilled before our eyes sooner or later. Give us understanding, open our eyes and open our ears and also open our mouth to testify of the new things to be done in near future. Thank you, Father, in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, today's you know theme is two kinds of the new things to be done by God. These new things have never been done yet, but it should be fulfilled sooner or later. New things means you cannot exp you cannot imagine what those things is unless you meditate the words spoken to us today, okay? Uh, first new thing is for the people of Israel. 2,700 years ago, when people of Israel in a very serious sin against God, they worship, they trust in Gentiles instead of trusting in their Lord Jehovah. Actually, they are fornicated. They committed fornication, spiritual fornication, departing from God and to fellowship with the Gentiles, which was pro, pro, you know, forbidden by God. They are not supposed to worship any other God, but they actually they serve the Gentiles, very strong nations, such as Babylon, Syria, and Persia, kind of at the time, great, great nation, great kingdom, they worship them. They trust in them instead of their own God, Jehovah. Even in the midst of their sin, of okay, their transgression iniquities, God declared new things to be done for them through his prophet, his name is Isaiah. And Lord God said through prophet Isaiah, My glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. Actually, they, you know, worship the graven images, idols, you know that? My glory will not give it to another, neither my praise to graven images. They were so foolish, you know, that's why they worship the idol instead of, you know, living God. The Lord God declared that for his glory before he restored Israel, the sin against him. After they are chastened by God. God declared unto them to do new things for them, Israel. Of the new things God had said unto them in advance. Before he has done, you know, in advance, you know, 2,700 years ago, he declared by himself in advance, even though they are in sinning, in equity, transgression. When God do the new things for them, they shall sing a new song unto the Lord. That means when they repent their sins, and only believe in, Jesus, uh, believe in God, Actually, Jesus Christ in the future. They want to sing a new song unto the Lord. And his praise from the end of the earth. You know, it is not imaginable for them to do that. They killed God. Manifested in flesh in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, nobody can imagine this kind of things happen. They're going to praise the name of Jesus Christ. Because God said... It will be done. And he also said, Let them give glory unto the Lord and declare that his praise in the islands. Why Lord God said unto them in advance, 
about the things, the new things to be done, 2001 and, you know, 2,300, you know, years later. They shall be chastened because they are their sins. Before they shall see the new things, you know, to be done by God. So that they may not be discouraged when they are chastened, they are tried because of the sin. That's why God spoke unto them in advance of the new things to be done for them in the long time future. The Lord God had a long time held his peace. He was, you know, God of long suffering, okay? That's why one of um, the fruit of the Holy Spirit is long suffering. God is the one who suffers long for us sinners, not only Jews, but also all the Gentiles, until they believe in him. And he had been still, now, even though he could not be still. He was about to, you know, speak out the words of judgment unto them, but, you know, God had been still, a long suffering and refrained himself. Finally, God said unto them, he will cry like a traveling woman. You know, when your mom was traveling to give a verse, you know, give you a birth, how much, you, you, you cannot imagine how much, you know, the kind of a cry your mom, you know, traveling. And he will destroy and devour devour them at once. Yeah, he was about to just, you know, kill them all because of his anger. But God had been still and refrained himself. Same thing. Even though we're sinning every day, our Lord Jesus Christ is still with long-suffering until we repent, okay? Even though many people, many nations people not believe in Jesus Christ, still God is still to wait upon them until they know the Lord Jesus and believe in him. And also he said, Lord God said to them, he will make waste mountains and hills and dry up all their herbs and he will make the rivers island, islands, and he will dry up pools. You know what? These days, you know, very severe drought, right? No rain has been in California. Not only California, many various places. You cannot, you know, the feel what kind of result, you know, the drought could continue, maybe another year, and we cannot imagine. When Israel sinned against God, not repented, a first judgment was what? Kind of bring bad weathers, okay? And bring forth, you know, famine. Without water, without rains, nobody can survive, all right? You have to give thanks every day for giving water, right? Without water, we cannot survive. Many things, we are supposed to give thanks to the Lord. But unfortunately, we are always looking for something we complain unto God. Why? Because, you know, still wicked heart, wicked mind, wicked thought in us. We have to repent all those things, you know, so that the blood of Jesus Christ cleans, you know, our heart, okay, to be pure. To give you thanks always for salvation. All right, not only this, he will lead them in paths they have not known. He will make darkness light before them and crook things straight. But Lord God added a very important message. He said, these things will I do unto them and not forsake them. Now when God you know, bring forth judgment to the people of Israel, 
God never forgot. If you repent, everything shall be resumed. Okay, same things happening. Even though sometimes we are judged, we are tried by God because of our sin, because of our crooked thought, twisted thought, right? Not straightforward, not right heart. Whenever we repent, our Lord Jesus, through the Holy Spirit, is ready to bring forth His mercy and kindness and goodness. Yeah, that's why, you know, even though God sent a judgment unto the people of Israel, He never forget, you know, to say, okay, in the future when they repent, God will lead them in paths that they have not known, and He will make the darkness light before them. And a very important. And so the crook thing straight. But the Lord God added a very important message saying, These things will I do unto them and not forsake them. Even though they are judged, right? Because there is a sin, they shall not be forsaken. Same thing. If you believe in Jesus Christ, you have salvation and became the children of God. Even though you sin against God, even though you got a judgment when you live in the earth, but you are not be forsaken. It is the love of God. All right? A limited love of God. Yet the reason sometimes, you know, He chastens us so that we may be clean, we may be pure heart through repentance, you know, through the power of the Lord of Jesus Christ and through the waters in the words of God. And if we read the words of God, you will see a word of God, something like the mirror, right? If you look in, it, look in the mirror, you will see how it looks like your face, clean or dirt. Whenever you see a, you know, dirt, your know, spiritual face, you only just confess, I'm sorry, I'm wrong. Then the words in the words of God cleanse your face, your spiritual face, to be clean without dot and without wrinkle. Okay? To be spiritually, to be spiritually, you know, be beautiful, you have to use three kinds of, you know, cosmetic, three kinds of cosmetic, is, which is made in heaven. The brand name is Joy, that is first one in the blood of Jesus Christ, and second one is the waters in the words of God. Third one is what? Anointment of the Holy Spirit. These things will I do unto them, and I not forsaken them, he said. Then they shall be turned back. They shall be greatly ashamed. Yeah, they will be ashamed because they <laughs> worship idol instead of a living God. Because they trusted in graven images. That they, and say to the molten images, molten images, Gentiles and images, okay? A kind of, you know, idol. You are our God. Actually, they say that. You are our God. Small gods, okay? God spoke unto them, saying, Hear you deaf, and look you blind, that you may see. Yeah, when God saw them, they were spiritually deaf. They couldn't hear the words of God, because they are spiritually deaf. And they cannot see the glory of God, because they are spiritually blinded. Yeah, you are deaf, and you are blind, so look that you may see. Finally, the Lord God spoke unto Israel to restore them again after he chastened sinful Israel. We read, you know, in the main passage, right? Remember you, not the former things. That means what? That what happened when you sinned against me. Neither consider the things of old, old things, you know, passed by. Behold, I will do a new thing, now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know? I will even make a way in the wilderness. You know, wilderness, there is no, no way, right? You don't know where to go. You know, without, you know, freeway and a desert, you know, desert to way to Las Vegas, you know, nobody can drive at all. Nobody can walk either. Because somebody made a highway, just so we can drive over there. Same thing. 
in Israel, in the wilderness, no way. And um, God promised them to bring forth rivers in the desert. No rivers, no waters in the desert, right? But God will bless them to bring forth you know, rivers in, in the desert. And that's why, you know, the peace of the field shall honor me. You know, the peace will give thanks to the Lord when, you know, new things shall be done after Israel repent. The dragons and the owls also, because I give waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give a drink to my people, my chosen. If we go to Israel, you will see huge, you know, vast desert. There shall be, you know, very fertile lands, you know, when God brings forth new things for Israel when they repent. These people have I formed for myself. They shall shew forth my praise. You know, finally, they will praise the Lord. After they repent their sins in great tribulation, when Jesus comes, they shall see Jesus, who he is, he is God Jehovah manifested in flesh, incarnated as man. They shall show forth his praise. Same thing, you know, even Christians like you, right? Sometimes you are so difficulties, right? Just like no waters in desert, just like no ways in, in our wilderness. When you repent, you know, God bless you, then finally you are going to praise his name. All right? It is the love of God, mercy of God. And so the will of God unto Israel, unto, unto us, is not wrath. It's a mercy. Because they are people, chosen people. We are children of God. Why your, your parents sometimes, you know, try you, sometimes chasing you to make you more blessed vessel before God, to make you more pure heart, all right? To be righteous before God. The Lord God reminded Israel again of the new things. You know, he just, you know God spoke to them what going to happen when he bring forth new things unto their land, okay? He said like that, I have declared the former things from the beginning, and they went forth out of my mouth, and I shewed them, I did them suddenly, and they came to pass. Because I know that thou art obstinate, and thy neck is iron sinew, and thy brow brass. Yeah, you know, they, they're so hard, you know, to understand the words of God. They're so stiff-necked before God. So God still said, I have even from beginning declared it to thee. Before it came to pass, I should at thee, lest thou shouldest say, Mine idol hath done them, and my graven image and my molten image hath commanded them. God continues to say, Thou hast heard, see all this, and will not you declare it. I have shewed thee new things from this time, even hidden things. Yeah, actually hidden things. Nobody can see it, okay, until it revealed. And thou didst not know them. They are created now, and not from the beginning, even before the day when thou hardest them not, lest thou shouldest say, Behold, I knew them. Yeah. Thou heardest not, yeah, thou knowest not, yeah, from the time that thine ear was not open. For I knew that thou wouldest deal very treacherously and wast called the transgressor from the womb. Yeah, they, you know, they, you know, God uh, just rebuked them, okay, for their hardness, okay? Not trusting the Lord. Finally, Lord God explained about the new things after God chastened them because of sin and tried them 
for them to be pure gold coming out furnace, so that he may lead them to the promised land that is to be restored for them. You know, until 1948, the people of Israel was living and scared in all the world because they lost their, their kingdom. They lost their land. Now the land is collapsed in from the great river Euphrates and uh, to the river Egypt, you know, river of Nile. But uh, partly their land restored in 1948, but still three-fourths, you know, three-quarters of their people still living in other nations. For example, in America, about seven million Jewish people living in the United States. Uh, even in California, many, many, you know, people are you know, living here, especially, you know, uh, UC, you know, uh, University of, you know, uh, State of California, UCLA, UC Irvine, UC, you know, um, some, some, you know, Riverside, you know, uh, UC, uh, other UCs, and many thousand, thousand of Jewish, you know, students, you know, study over there, okay? And Jews for Jesus, you know, uh, all, you know, consist of Jewish people that they uh, preach the gospel unto the Jewish students. That's why we have to pray for them. When God, you know, bring forth new things for Israel after they repent, then finally God will bring all the people of the Jewish people return to their homeland. There was a promised land to uh, Abraham, you know, 4,000 years ago. It was the reason why God reminded them of the new things again and again repeatedly for them not to forget. The Lord God foresaw them passing through the great tribulation and the Antichrist to be tried as Job. Job is in the book of Job, right? Job was so that the remnant of Israel may be able to enter the promised land to be restored that was given unto Abraham as the covenant without any condition. The Lord God had decided to make them the head of all nations in the earth. When God, you know, bring forth new things, you know, for Israel and the kingdom of Jesus Christ, when Jesus come again to establish, you know, his kingdom and Israel, the capital city of the whole earth shall be Jerusalem. No more Washington, D.C. No more Vatican in Rome. Okay? It shall be done, whether you believe it or not, because God said that. You shall see it. You'd better believe it, this word, okay? When you believe it, you understand that. God already, when they, when God chosen the people of Israel as his chosen one, you know, God already, you know, just planned to make them the head of all nations. That's why they had to be chastened, tried, to make them pure heart. You know what? As my, uh, based on my experience, to make man and woman to be pure heart, pure heart, you know, before God, at least it takes 20 years. All kind of natures, you know, to be changed, it, you know, uh, usually 10 years. The secular problem saying, you know, 10 years all the nature shall be changed. But the heart of man cannot be changed in 10 years. At least 20 years. That's I experienced, okay? For 20 years I had to be tried by God until to make my heart pure to obey the Lord Jesus Christ, deny myself and take up my cross to follow Christ. That is a Christian. The Lord God has spoken through prophet Isaiah blessing in the kingdom of their Messiah. The Lord Jesus, when God does the new thing of Israel, what's going to happen? Let me read, you know, partially, okay, book of Isaiah chapter 35, just verse 1 and 2. You can read the, the rest of verses. The wilderness and 
solitary place shall be glad for them, and the desert shall rejoice and blossom as the rose. It shall blossom abundantly and rejoice even with joy and singing. The glory of Lebanon shall be given unto it, the excellency of Carmel and Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord and the excellency of our God. It will be happening. You know that? If you read the book of Isaiah, chapter 11, you will see what's going to happen in, in the millennium of Jesus Christ, okay? Before the foundation of the Lord, the second new thing I talk about, okay? Before the foundation of the world, God had predestined the chosen people in Christ to be adopted as the children of God. They are different from the people of Israel. That means when we believe in Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ took away our sins and made us, made them the church of God as well as the bride of Christ to make them as a joint heir with Christ to make his will for them fulfilled. God has been trying them also severely for the last 2,000 years since Holy Spirit came to the earth to testify of Lord Jesus Christ so that all the people be blessed into the believing in Jesus Christ and to be adopted as the children of God. Last 2,000 years, you know, even many Christians has been tried and chastened, you know, to be blessed, okay? Expecting new things in the future. Let me talk about it later. But unfortunately, even the church of God has been falling away, exactly as Israel has done before. God spoke unto the churches in the last days through Apostle John. I'm talking about these days, you know, more than 90% of churches, you know, fall away from the words of God. They follow, the, you know, their, their carnal, their, you know, the carnal mind, you know, following them, following not the word of God, following the, you know, mammon, that is the idol. Veterans, you know, Jesus said through Apostle John, I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. Imagine yourself. You are cold or hot? Either of them? I would thou wert cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm, oh, lukewarm, you know, lukewarm water is not, not willing to drink, right? And neither cold nor hard, I spoo, spit, spit thee out of my mouth. As we drink, you know, look what water we are, we're feeling to, you know, vomit, right? Because thou says, I am rich and increased with goods and of need of nothing, and knows not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. And more than churches that understand how much they are miserable, naked, you know, poor, blind, and naked, spiritually. Only they look on material, the big size of church building, the number of big buses, a kind of, you know, pipe of all gun kind of things, you know, instead of spiritual their condition. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayst be rich and white raiment, that thou mayst be clothed. You know, clothed is his word, right? And that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thine eyes with thyself, and that thou mayst see. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be jealous, therefore, and repent. The Holy Spirit is asking all of us repent, turning away from lukewarm to be hot or cold. The Lord Jesus Christ spoke unto the angel of the church of Laodiceans, is in a, you know, lukewarm church, okay? To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and am sit down with my father in his throne. He that hath an ear, let him hear 
what the Spirit says unto the churches. Holy Spirit is still, you know, saying unto the churches. This now, through me, Holy Spirit is speaking unto you. Unto you. If we have an ear, then I bless you to be able to hear the words of the Holy Spirit. In other words, as Apostle Paul testified, he promised the church of God to give blessing of reigning of all nations with Christ in his kingdom as a joint heir with Christ. When Jesus comes back to the earth, a real good Christian shall be the joint heir with Christ Jesus, you know, reigning in the earth for a thousand years, whether you believe it or not. Really, it will be happening. It is another new thing for the church, for you. I already explained about, you know, new things for Israel, right? The second new things. They are living in the earth. Even though we shall, you know, sitting at the throne with Jesus Christ, as much as we are done for Christ Jesus, and we shall live in New Jerusalem, there is decorated, you know, pure gold, you know, and a pearl and uh, kind of precious stones. Yes. If you read the book of Revelation, chapter 21, you will see how it looks like our home. It's a new thing. For Israel, he will, God will restore the wilderness into fertile land, right? But for us, he preparing, he prepared, you know, the house in heaven, huge heaven, 1,200 miles, you know, each side, you know, originally and vertically and height also, okay? Nowadays, we see all nations, people are rejecting the words of God. Because their hearts are frozen to be hardened. Even the church of God are worshipping the gods of the world. There is a mammon, as Jesus said, unto the Jews. And they're rejecting the words of God, not understanding they are committing idolatry. As the Lord God reminded unto Israel repeatedly of the new things, for Israel will not be repeatedly, uh, will not aware of them, and he will make the new things for them come to pass. The psalmist testified of this. He gives snow like wool. He scattered the hoar frost like ashes. He cast forth his eyes like mussels who can stand before his cold. He sends out his word and melts them he causes his wind to blow and the waters flow. Yes. When God sends the words of God, all kind of, you know, frozen hearts shall be, you know, shall be melted just like ice melted, you know, to make waters. We shall see it. Yes, the Lord God will restore Israel that has been chastened and he will restore the promised land where they shall dwell in the kingdom of Christ Exactly the same as the Garden of Eden. And he also will do the new things for the churches of God for us. Making the way and the feeling the living waters in the heart of the children of God as wilderness and desert. After God chastened the churches, they fall away as the church of Laodicea as Israel, exactly Israel did. Yes. New things of God. First one, for Israel to the earth. Second thing is for the church of God, the children of God in heaven and earth. Now we have received the pure words of God. This is called the King James Version of the Bible as the silver tried in the furnace of earth purified, purified seven times. The words of God shall melt the heart of man frozen through the Holy Spirit as the wind blows so that water shall flow out of them. When we preach the words of God by faith, continuously receiving these words by faith, let us participate in the new things of God that will make the frozen heart beginning from the city 
we are, we live in Los Angeles and to the, all the earth. I bless all of you to be partaker of this new thing that will be done by God. Even though you don't understand exactly what it is, you meditate, you read in a message, okay? Then Holy Spirit will open your eyes, open your ears so that you may understand all these new things, what they are. And finally, you shall shout, praise the Lord, you know, knowing his new things to be done in your future. Even though he just declared new things, you know, 2,700 years ago. You know, sooner or later, will be done before our eyes. I bless all of you to believe his words, to see the new things vividly, even though you cannot see physical eyes, but through your you know, spiritual eyes to see all those things. God bless you. Amen. Heavenly Father, give us wisdom and understanding when we meditate all these words today. Open their eyes and ears and open their mouth so that they may be able to praise your name, Lord, because your word of promise. Thank you, Father, in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Everybody say, Amen.